was traveling in the trails of the V behind another bird. Traveling this way decreases their energy usage by over 70%, so it would be only that much harder for each bird to fly on its own. Each bird flaps its wings and makes the flight easier for the bird behind it. So what about the bird at the head of the V? This bird obviously does the most work. As many of you can probably relate to, if you've been that group member that always takes the lead or picks up the slack for other people. However, the geese are all such effective leaders that they constantly switch positions throughout their migration and take turns leading the group to ideally break up the work and allocate the challenge equally between each of them. Creating a buildup of trust in a group can make this travel easier, which is important in everyday life when working with other individuals, whether students, coworkers, friends, or family. Besides trust, selflessness, and sharing a passion for a common goal within a group can make the flight a lot more manageable. Sometimes, when flying in a group, one individual may fall out of formation. Without the flow of air from the coordinated V pattern of the group, this individual will face the drag and resistance of air when flying alone. This is typical in leadership type settings, where other stresses and challenges may force us to fall behind in one of our responsibilities. The only way for this bird to succeed and continue migrating with the others is if it can get back into the group to take advantage of the lifting power of the birds in the front. It is important to always help others. Sometimes, if you need to pick up the slack or do a favor for someone else, it will be worth it. Because most likely, that person will do the same for you when you need an extra gust of air to help you fly. However, sometimes jumping back into the group isn't so easy. When a goose becomes sick or weak and can't keep up with the group, two other geese drop out of the formation with the weak individual to make sure it reaches the ground safely and remain there to protect it. As parents, children, siblings, friends, mentors, hall directors, resident assistants, board members, leaders, whatever positions each of you may hold, we should always stand by each other in difficult times because it's easier to be strong when you have others by you than when you are alone and have no one. Even when times are diff or not difficult, being there for other people is an outstanding quality to have that makes you not only a strong leader, but a loyal friend and incredible person. Geese, as we all know, make a very loud, obnoxious honking sound. Their noise is their this noise is their form of communication and is often used to encourage the geese in front to keep up their speed and keep going. All of us often need a honk or two, or have been in a situation where we shout out a honk to someone else. It's important to make sure our words are encouraging, not mean, hurtful, or disheartening. As leaders, whether we are friends with those that we work with or not, it is important for the group as a whole to encourage one another with positivity. Because after all, we are all trying to get to the same place, and bringing down one will bring down the group. Being a senior, the idea of graduating in a couple months still hasn't hit me. I'm so used to flying in a group that I'm scared to death and nervous to have to fly alone without that common interest and common goal as my fellow e-board members, classmates, and friends I have here at Rutgers. But I feel as though my experiences at Rutgers and in life, thanks to close friends like this entire e-board that I'm so close with, especially Megan, who's an amazing president and an amazing best friend, my incredible family who is here and I'm so thankful for, thankful for especially my mom, who is mostly responsible for molding me into what I am, and Josh, who is genuinely my favorite person, who's been supportive and helped me get through every, the everyday challenges that I deal with. I have plenty to take with me to land safely on the ground when I have to fly away from the group. For all of you who are graduating soon as well, remember to stay strong when times are tough and never stop flapping your wings. I have put everything I've had, every flap, and every gust of air to help build up NRHH into what it is today with my fellow e members and active NRHH members. This beautiful and amazing induction ceremony couldn't have been possible without the help of them and my astounding committee. I just want to take a moment to recognize my incredible committee members for their help so far this semester preparing induction, conducting and organizing interviews, making de decorations, shopping with me, and coming up with awesome ideas. If you're an active member of my committee, please come up to the front so I can award you a Medal of Honor. <laughs> come on, guys.
<laughs> Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Thank you for coming.